My name is Jimmy Tan. I'm the owner of JTIS Racer Severe, based in Singapore. We are constantly investing in innovative technologies to incorporate in our daily activities to increase efficiency and deliver projects on time. We aim to constantly source and think of creative ways to adopt modern surveying so as to maximize the survey output in our projects. I was very happy when a senior sales engineer, Mr. Daryl Lim from Laika, Singapore, told me about the launch of the GS18i GNSS RTK rover built with visual positioning technology. Our first in Asia who placed the first order of GS18i. Prior to the release of Laika GS18i, GATIS has already been adopting the combination of 3D laser scanning and photogrammetry methodology in our flow. The development of the GS89 is truly one equipment to serve dual purposes. It simplifies my workflow and can work faster and safer. One of the main applications of GS18 i is to continue carrying out the quality check of our existing survey and scanning projects. After scanning a large site areas, more than 970 hectares, we need to perform a quality check on the georeferencing coordinates of the buildings. We will use the GS18i to carry out the QC survey on the footprint of each building. The QC survey can quickly pick up the coordinates we want, including the corner of buildings. This can be done in two methods, by using just GS18i, using the tube feature. I can pick up the corner of building directly by studying my pole and then observing the RTK reading. The second method is more interesting because the GS18i comes with a built-in camera. It captures the scene photographically and I can record the RTK position at the same time. It's a new technology called Visual Positioning Technology and a truly exciting way of carrying out surveying. It's very easy to use the GS18i. It's basically a one-man operation tool. I can just walk around the edge of the building with the GS89. In some scenario where the building is fenced up and I cannot get directly to the corner of the building, I will then use the GS89 visual positioning method. The GS89 captures the scene with images and the RTK position at the same time. The data can be post processed immediately on site in the controller. I can then choose which points to get the point coordinates. Back in office, I would download the survey data onto Leica Infinity software. In there, I can extract more points and also improve accuracy of the data. Best of all, I can even generate 3D point clouds. Since the GS89 is a GNSS RTK unit by itself, it means I can get coordinates in local grid SPR21 immediately. This adds another dimension in delivering the results immediately at site. When a contractor opens the trenches to lay pipes, they have to cover the trenches immediately once the pipes are laid. You will not be able to see what's in there anymore if you are laid. By walking around the trenches, the GS18 eye can rapidly capture images, what's inside the trenches or exposed underground facility. At the same time, I can record the local grid's positioning. There will be no disputes of what has been laid underground. A report will be generated with images and northern eastern elevation coordinates data. GS18i provides many advantages to me. Amongst that is the fact that it saves manpower as you need only one man to operate your unit. Time saving is another benefit because I can process the data in real time immediately on site. The other value add is the post-processing ability in Infinity to extract more points to increase accuracy. Leica is continuously producing new products with new ways of capturing data. This is the most important factor, which is why I'm sticking with Leica. It aligns the vision of JTRS of adopting the new technology in surveying.